Hey, if you're nervous about featuring on a podcast, I totally understand. It can be scary when you share your story for the first time and you have to really give that kind of focused, you know, outlook or, or look back on your journey that's brought you to where you are today in this amazing position that you're in. So with that in mind, a couple of things that I help that, I, that have helped me with, with, with podcasting really is the act of visualization. So visualize the questions you're going to get asked. Actualize your responses. You know, talk them out. What is it that you would have to say? What is your story? Tell me a little bit about your background. Memorize some key components that are important to you as part of your podcast. And also, you know, express. Express yourself with your energy. Whether that means you being soft-spoken and being quiet and to the point, that's okay as well. Soft words can be extremely meaningful. Whether you're loud, exuberant and dynamic and want to bounce around the room, that's also great. That's also, you know, a style that works fabulously well. The important thing is that you communicate clearly, you express your emotions easily, and then you will see from the evidence that you get back that there are, you know, huge benefits to going through that nervousness going through that actual uh, feeling when you've got butterflies in your stomach and you feel slightly knotted up because you've got a podcast about to start, you're feeling a bit nervous, what will I say, how will I say it, will I mess up, don't worry. Very, very few podcasts are recorded live. Many, many podcast hosts edit in post, which means that you have the freedom to screw things up a little bit. And they, if you are honest with them, will guide you through some of the moments that are you know, critical when you're actually delivering your story on a podcast. So if you're feeling nervous, just visualize, actualize, memorize, remember that this is about you and you've got an amazing story to tell.